What's up guys, I'm bringing y'all another uh, video, um, this time, on my first video that I uploaded, I showed y'all that I did have the bumper quick release, um, what ended up happening to my old one, well, as you may guess, I put it on a little too tight, so, um, what I'm gonna do is show y'all what exactly happened, um, it's a little windy outside, so I don't really know if y'all will be able to hear me, but I'm gonna do my best to make sure that this video goes as smooth as possible. So what I end up, of course, ordering the JDM Speed bumper quick releases, same bands, everything. What you're gonna need for the installation, um, I already installed it on my car already, the older ones or the other ones. So I can't really show y'all, but I'm gonna show y'all what tools and what tools I use at the time to um, install them on there. Um, I have a, what, I don't really know. Let me see if I can see what drive this is this is a uh, see if I can get y'all to see that bit piece here you need one of these to drill the hole in you need one of these to drill the hole in and an allen key for the bolts here up here the actual what you'll be using to screw those in and and you're going to need a um, 10 mil. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to show you all now what, um, what ended up happening on my actual bumper. So this is what happened. Well, this is the, this is where the, uh, this is the, the one with the band that ripped off. I'm going to show you all the other side of what it actually looked like. I guess I put it on too, too tight. Um, only reason being, I guess it ended up being too tight because there was no, there was really no room for, I guess, um, yes, my inner fender liner is uh, taken out because my car is fairly low. Put the little scrape in here. So anyways, uh, so let me show y'all how it goes down. In the deal. I'm just playing. So, actually, probably what I'm going to do first is actually use my good old handy dandy baby here it's actually in the back on the back side here i gotta find it it's really hard doing it with my cell phone but fuck it. hold on one second so here's the hole that it goes through and let me show you all the other side because this job does suck without having both hands so as we can see here it's kind of stressed i guess due to weathering i'm hoping that the other band isn't like that but more than likely i probably put this on too tight but what i didn't really have much too much of a choice um considering i didn't really want it too close down here to this area here i mean i could have put it here but i mean fuck it um let's see i could have put it here Honestly, if I really wanted to, I could have put it there, but um, uh, one, it wasn't going to look right because of the simple fact that on the other side, there isn't a spot like that over here. It's kind of, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it has this area here, so it wasn't going to look even, and I'm all about being even, so uh, with that being said, it's really simple. You just put this through here put the bolt through there then you got your washer put it on the back oh sorry sorry guys oh <laughs> fail uh put the washer on the back there and you put the bolt on in between the washer well, not in between the washer but you get the idea um it disappeared somewhere down there but and the washer fell down there. So, I guess I'll just show y'all a quick view of what it would look like with the new one. So, this is what it looks like when it's done. Nice and tight. Um, that is what she said. But, um, I didn't uh, cross them this time. I don't know if that was adding additional stress. I mean, it kind of makes sense if it does. So, 
Um, I'll let y'all know in the future. Uh, give y'all a status update as to how long it's gonna last under this amount of stress just being straight like this instead of just doing the bunny or the cross tie. It's like a figure eight. Anyways, um, yeah, that's it, guys. Y'all have a blessed one, okay? Peace.